Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial, and today in GIMP, we're going to be creating this um, uh, night scene, and we're basic basically going to be f uh, focusing on the moon. Um, it's a pretty easy tutorial, and um, it's sort of a cartoonish, sort of, with like the gradients and the background and stuff, but the moon looks really nice, and um, it'll teach you like layer styles and um, uh, layer modes and everything, so it's a uh, really useful tutorial. Um, to just play around with and make your own thing. So uh, let's get started. All right, you're gonna create a uh, new image, 640 by 480, and um, it doesn't really matter what color the background is because we're gonna be changing that anyways. You're gonna choose a darker blue. I'm using the uh, HTML notation as 002F4D, and um, your lighter color. Um, I'm using 0062A0. And um, you're just going to apply a gradient um, linear, and the gradient is FG to BG. Um, so you're just going to stroke down on the background layer, it doesn't really matter. And stroke down about there, that looks good. Now what you're going to do is you're going to make a new layer. <coughs> you're going to select around a little bit less than half of the image. Um, and you're gonna take your blend tool again, and you're gonna choose a darker green. Uh, I'm using uh, HTML notation is 005A00, um, and my lighter one is gonna be um, 009300, and you're just gonna stroke down. That looks good. You can select none. Um, now what you're gonna do is create a new image, fill it in with black, or new layer, fill it in with black. And you're going to go filters, uh, noise, HSV noise. And you're going to use the following settings. 1 for holdness, 3 for hue, 10 for saturation, and 116 for value. Click OK. And you're going to put the layer mode on uh, screen. And you're going to put that below the grass layer. So it looks like uh, stars, sort of. Now what we're going to do is we're actually going to create the uh, moon. So you're going to make a new layer and um, put that on top of everything and you're going to take your ellipse select tool and you're going to hold shift while doing it so that it makes a perfect circle and I'm going to make it sort of big that way we get a lot of detail so um, you're going to fill that in with white on a new layer you're going to click select uh, actually no um, and now what you're going to do uh, you can actually click select none you're going to lock the alpha channel and go filters, render, clouds, plasma. And you're going to put the turbulence to 1.9. And um, it doesn't really matter if you use a random seed or not. Click OK. Alright, now what you're going to do is go colors, uh, desaturate. Um, and put it based on luminosity so that adds some of the nicer, darker grays to it. Click OK now we're gonna color it so go colors color balance and you're gonna tug up on the cyan a lot so it gives you that nice like grayish bluish color and click shadows and tug on a little bit and highlights a little bit maybe that's a little bit too much so you're gonna counter it with a little bit of red so uh, click OK now what we're gonna do now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go um, colors threshold and you're going to uh, just play with the markers so that um, uh, um, so basically you get these nice blacks and whites um, on it and you're actually going to duplicate this layer and um, that just makes it so that there's a um, layer with that with the threshold and then just the regular layer um, and then you're going to put that layer mode on um, normal, but you're going to turn down the opacity to like 8%. And you're going to blur that. A 5 will be fine. Click OK. So that looks good. Uh, you're going to make a new layer. Alpha to selection of the planet. And you're going to put uh, white as your foreground color and black as your background color. And you're going to put the um, shape as radial. And um, whoop, you're going to do that on the new layer. 
so like that and then go colors color to alpha uh put white as your color to alpha and click ok and you're going to turn down the opacity on that by a lot like 47% is good then you're going to blur that by a little bit so um blur gaussian blur and 5% again is fine so that looks good uh... and now the grass is looking kind of unnatural and so is the sky so um... we're gonna click on the um, grass layer and go colors brightness and contrast and you're gonna tone down the brightness all the way down but tone up the contrast by a little bit and maybe that brightness is just a little bit too down uh... that looks good so i'm using negative 104 and 19 click ok and on the background layer you're gonna go colors brightness and contrast again and you're going to tone down that brightness but boost the contrast a lot and you can see that really brings out the darker and lights so uh, click OK and you are done you have finished your um, starry night scene and um, you could totally add like clouds and stuff and I think I can quickly do that you're just going to create a uh, new layer and um, uh, fill that in with the white and then you're just gonna click add to current selection and you're just gonna like fill that in with the white and click a uh, fill whole selection and um... fill that in with white um... try and make it look somewhat cloud shaped you know this is really bad but um... Yeah, just um, play around with it, and uh, you'll be able to figure it out. So that's awful, but um, you know you can play around with it. So you can click a darker gray, and then white, and then you can just drag down with the shape on linear, and you can select them. So basically, that's your cloud, and you can turn down the opacity on that. So uh that looks good. And you can blur that by a little bit. Not five, like three. That looks good. Alright, so now you have created your um starry scene. So uh thank you for watching this tutorial and remember to subscribe and if you want a custom uh YouTube background or logo, then just see the occupation tab on my channel. So thanks for watching this tutorial and have a nice day.